Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create check constraint on multiple columns in SQL Server table. So there could be situations or scenarios where we have to have a check constraint on multiple columns. So if the expressions are evaluated false, we don't want to insert the value or we don't want to insert the row in the table. If the expressions or rule is evaluated true, then the row will be inserted. So let's go ahead and take a look on one of the scenario. Open techbrothersit.com and then go to the SQL Server T SQL tutorial. And then you will be going further in chapter six. That's where I have constraints. Now here we have subheading check constraints and I have a number three post how to create check constraints or constraint on multiple columns in SQL Server table. Once you open it, I have this snapshot already here. So this is the logic we want to create. We want to create a table, maybe customer table, where we will have two columns, age and age type. And we want to say age less than or equal to 17 and age type is child. If somebody try to insert this record, let it insert. And then if the age is greater than 17, somebody try to insert maybe 20 and age is less than 65. So this condition has to be true, maybe in, in case of 20 or 21 or 23. And the person is inserting age type adult, so let it insert. And then we are checking if somebody try to insert age above 65 or equal to 65 year old and the age type is senior, fine, let it insert. But if somebody will put the age maybe let's say um, age 9 and try to insert the age type adult, so don't let it insert. So I have taken the script from here and then pasted in my SSMS. Uh, first of all, definition, if you are uh, not familiar with the check constraint, uh, so check constraints limit the values uh, that are accepted uh, by one or more uh, columns. Uh, so it limits uh, if uh, we will try to insert the incorrect value according to our rule or expression, what we have written for check constraint, it is not going to let us insert. Uh, so it will always verify if it passes or uh, evaluated true, the value will be inserted. Otherwise, uh, it will not be inserted. Fine. Now, we have create table, debut customer, and we have customer ID, identity column, name, watch 100, fine, and then we have age, integer, and age type, work 15. So on these two columns, we are interested to create the check constraint together. And here, I will say once the columns are done, I will just have another comma and say constraint, constraint name. So I will say DBO, that's my schema for table, customer, that's the table name. And then I use age and age type. These are the columns I'm using for that. So follow any name in standard you have in your company for the check constraint names. Then I have to say check parenthesis start and that's where I'm writing my logic. So I'm saying age less than or equal to 17 and age type child. Okay, go ahead and let the record uh, insert and then or there could be situation when age is greater than 17 but uh, uh, between sorry the age is greater than 17 and less than 65 fine and age type is adult so if this qualifies or evaluated true fine let's insert that record or so in this scenario if uh, age is greater than 65 somebody try to insert maybe age uh, 69 and age type senior fine let it insert so these are three conditions we have here so if any any of them qualifies let's say this qualifies we will insert the data if this qualifies we will insert the data if this qualifies we will insert the data so uh, one of them has to be qualified or pass so if uh, somebody try to insert let's say i have uh, age uh, for this rule part of this uh, I'm saying if age is greater than 17 and age is less than 65. So if somebody try to put 70 here in the table and type in the age type column, try to insert the child, it is not going to let it insert. So uh, that, that's where these check constraints are really important. So you make sure your data is correct according to the rules what you have defined. Let's go ahead and insert the, uh, sorry, create the table. So table is created successfully. Now, the very first value we are insert into 
a DBA customer, name, age, and type. So we are inserting Najaf, and his age is 13, and he's a child. So you see that age is less than 17 or equal to 17, and type is child. So it will let it insert. So let's go ahead and insert it. Fine, one row inserted. Next, we are saying name, age, type, and we are saying the name is Lena, age is 14, and the type, age type is adult. Do you see that even qualify? That does not qualify. So we are saying age is uh, um, less than 17. Fine, that's true. But uh, the type is incorrect. So this, uh, once it will uh, try to check here, this is going to fail right away. So even uh, it doesn't need to come here because uh, 14 uh, it does qualify in this part. So it does not really need to check in other, other ways. So, so if I will try to insert, uh, it's not going to insert the value. Sorry, totally clicked on the wrong tab. Execute. You see that the insert statement conflicted with check constraint DBO customer age and age type. The conflict occurred in database Tech Brothers IT and table name is DBO customer. So this is a detail error we have. Now you can uh, see here I'm in trying to insert Raza age is 30 and adult. So this qualifies right here. So age is uh, greater than and six, uh, less than 65. So that's between 30, it does be, uh, lies between 17 and 65. So this part is true. And uh, we are uh, type in uh, age type is uh, adult. So this will become true. And uh, it is going to let the value get in. Okay, one row inserted. We'll see the records at the end. Or even we can see right now. Okay, so you see that uh, the correct values are inserted successfully. Now, here, see Amir, I'm saying uh, 30, and then I'm saying age type senior. This does not qualify or uh, does not evaluate true for any of these uh, logics or expressions or rules what we have written here. So if the age is 30, that does uh, lie here, but the age type has to be adult, uh, and I'm saying uh, senior, that's totally wrong information. Uh, and uh, if if I'm saying age is, uh, type is uh, senior, then uh, I should have the correct age. That should not be 30. That should be something uh, um, maybe 66 or 65 or 69, whatever. So if I will try to insert this one, this will fail. Again, um, so you can play with this one. It's the same thing. If I'm uh, uh, inserting a uh, Chris 65 adult, that's going to fail. And uh, this one will go in uh, as I'm saying Chris. Uh, 65 senior so that's fine because it does passes this check so all right so run this one and uh, the record is inserted exit ha again sorry again uh, hit the wrong button here this is mdx where i was supposed to click on execute so you see that uh, these records are inserted that's really great and by using check constraint we can limit and implement those uh, rules uh, for our data uh, validation and uh, if the data does not qualify we do not insert that data so thanks very much for watching this video and i hope uh, you learn uh, how to create the check constraint uh, with with multiple columns uh, and you can use something uh, like this uh, and uh, as we have given example for age and age type in your case uh, maybe you will have a, a more um, complex uh, scenario but uh, this is the way to start uh, uh, creating check constraint on multiple columns in your table. Thanks and I will see you guys in the next video.